No working mother should have to choose between contributing to her community in the workplace and caring for her child's well-being. What a waste of time every time we think that we are failing the children that we have raised to be strong. If I can help in any way to make it easier for women who are mothers of young children who want to be ambitious about their careers, who have every right to be, that's my job now, full time. One morning I got off the phone with my daughter and she was having a particularly challenging morning with her two children because they were all at home at that point. And um, I just think she's a remarkable mother. And that she could be feeling, just for a moment, insecure about it, weighed on me. I'm looking at that picture of that little baby on my lap as I'm typing. In that horrible hair, horrible glasses, old ratty robe. But that was life right then. And my son, Andy, actually took that picture. And then I thought, wait a minute, I've got a photo of Kate with her baby strapped to her chest because she was testifying before the Rhode Island State House Committee on Labor for family leave. I sit before you as a staunch advocate for providing critical intervention at a time when children need it most in their first years of life. My access to paid sick leave now decreases Milo's chances of needing future intervention to support his academic and physical well-being. The thing I've come to understand over the years is that my ambition improved my mothering skills, in my case. I wanted my daughter to know that not only does mom work, but mom loves what she does. The thing I understand now is that our ambition was always there. Your ambition is perfectly normal. What's not normal is the way our culture still tries to shame women. I worked in a male-dominated newsroom, in a, and at that time, a male-dominated profession. If I was waiting for a bunch of men in the newsroom to say, hey, you know what, we really share values about being a mom, a working mom, that was never going to happen. And the more important thing is I didn't need that permission. If we were waiting for permission to feel better, we were just going to have to sort it out for ourselves. The second thing I talked about was I wanted my own children to hitch their dreams to their biggest ambitions. And what kind of example was I going to be setting for my son and my daughter if I always appeared to be settling? I wanted to carry as I climb. The bigger my megaphone gets, the more I want to use that megaphone for people who don't have their champions in the same way. And when I so often tell young mothers or mothers of young children, to be gentler with themselves. The look of puzzlement on their faces sometimes helps me understand that it's been so long since most of you have ever even thought about what you need. Your children are gonna be okay because you're doing all that you can. I was the first in my family to go to college. My mom told me, whenever you are speaking out in public, you are representing us, meaning the people I come from. And I wanted the chance to do the same stuff that the guys were doing and I actually thought for, I could, do it better than some of them were doing it. So that helped drive me a lot, coming from my roots. Worrying that you're not measuring up robs you of the joy of your milestones. She certainly understood she was entitled to dream big, and I really wasted a lot of time feeling guilty about that. This is one chapter in a very long and fascinating book titled Your Life. And I hope to be um, setting that example until I'm dead in the ground.